Hi, this is Christian with the Featherweight Shop. Today I'm going to show you a tool that we use here in the shop when we deal with rust and burrs on the Singer Featherweight parts and also parts for other vintage sewing machines. We've got some parts here that are in rough condition. It's really important that as the thread is passing through and around these parts it doesn't get caught because that will result in inconsistencies in your stitch and possibly even skip stitches. The tool that we have here is a rubber honing stick. It's a rubber stick with an abrasive material in it and it will file down and smooth out rust or burrs on those parts that we mentioned. As I rub back and forth on these tension unit discs, the abrasive stick will remove that rust, make the disc smooth again, and the th thread will flow right through that disc. So with just a minute or so of using this stick, pressing pretty firmly as I went back and forth along it, I have removed that rust and now the thread should pass through very smoothly. The part that I have here is the loop guard that goes on the back of the hook assembly. It is a common culprit of skip stitches because sometimes the needle will catch right here on the corner of the loop guard and that the needle catches when you pull the fabric as you're sewing you're also pulling that needle sometimes and it can catch right there on the bottom of the loop guard so as the loop is passing by as your stitch is being formed it can get caught right there and cause a skip stitch. It's not imperative that we get the entire scratch out but if you feel a rough spot here you will want to polish that with the rubber honing stick to get that rough spot smooth. You can also use the honing stick on parts like the bobbin case where there's rust here. You can just file that right off. Then another important part is the hook assembly. This part right here is the point of the hook and that's what catches the loop that is formed as your machine is making a stitch. So it's really important that this area is also smooth. You can see here as I move this thread along this section of the assembly that it gets kind of caught on this rust and corrosion that's right there. You can see how it kind of bounces back and forth. So we will want to file that down with the rubber honing stick so it is smooth as well. It would take several minutes to get all of this rust and corrosion polished out but even in just a short amount of time I have polished it to where this thread does not catch on here anymore. Now since this stick is an abrasive, you won't want to use it on the polished chrome parts of the machine like the faceplate and the needle plate. But for parts like these here where the thread is passing through and along them, it is a great tool to have. It's small, just the size of a miniature pencil, it'll fit right in your sewing kit. If you have any questions about this, feel free to send us an email or give us a call. We're always happy to help.